Here we go. We've got the Charles M. Steef Concert Grand from 1913 here at the Dave and Judy Hughes Piano Restoration. This is his final work of professional life, final rebuild, his swan song, he calls it. And I wanted to walk you through the details of this and then I'll play it for you so you can hear the sound. It's just stunning. New pedal columns, new legs, new steamroller casters, a whole new key set. I'll show you the inside in a minute. A new music desk, a new lid, <clears throat> new pin block, new soundboard, new bridges, new ribs, refinished. Damper heads, these are the beautiful original, but now polished. We would put this up against any new Steinway concert grand on the market in terms of the touch, tone, and appearance. So amazing! Oh, to play this piano, it gives you what you want. What I want. I can play that final note and it gives me exactly. Listen to that. Listen to this. It just continues to go. It's just amazing. This is amazing. Just know that it's, I think it's amazing. Tell me when you're ready. So this is a new key set, brand new key set, new uh, felts, new front rail pins, new center rail pins. Cap stands. Mm -hmm. Everything, as you mentioned a moment ago, with the exception of the keyframe, mm -hmm. uh, which has been fully rebuilt, everything you're looking at here is, is new. A uh, new set of keys from Rayburn Piano Works that were custom built for a correct action geometry specifically with where the balance rail is located along the length of the key, and also where we positioned the key capstans, which are hard to see, but at the end of my finger, right there, that black 
mm -hmm. post there. The hammer action is all new. New Ronson hammers, new Tokiwa hammer shanks and flanges, and new Renner whippins. Uh, also Tokiwa back checks. A uh, new damper lift felt across the back end of the keys, of course, that's standard procedure. The um, five action brackets, the original Wessel Nickel and Gross action brackets, I had uh, replated in nickel just for a nice cosmetic appearance when the action comes out of the piano. And new top stack screws, new screws that hold the action frame or top stack down to the key frame. Mm -hmm. These are, this is the original hammer rail and the original let off rail in the piano. I wanted to preserve this Wessel Nickel and Gross emblem that was on the hammer rail. So when I bead blasted all of these wooden parts, original wooden parts to give them a fresh new appearance, I masked off the uh, 1913 Wessel Nickel and Gross emblem just so it would be historic. So I didn't want to obliterate that. So it still remains part of the piano. Mr. Steve used a very clever design to hold the front and back rail of his keyframe down to the key bed. These are spring clips. There are three at the front rail, and there are four of them for the back rail. And what they do is make sure that the keyframe is well bedded to the key bed. Um, and it works great. Mm -hmm. And there are uh, pads, if you will, on the underside of the key frame that uh, receive the rounded shape of these springs. So this spring just compresses up a little bit when the key frame is in the piano. So it's pushing the front rail and the back rail down to the key bed. Yeah. It really does a great job of eliminating knocks. That's the touch weight, the keyboard touch weight of this piano, uh, listed by note numbers, mm -hmm. and the down weight and the up weight. We've got it all nicely finished on the inside so that it's bright and clear and clean. Yep, action cavities should be bright, cheery places to work. Uh, the piano also received a new damper underlever kit from Tokiwa also. These are the new damper underlevers and the sustain pedal pushes them all up simultaneously. And every damper underlever is equipped with a capstan for precise adjustment. And the Sostenuto pedal even works, like that. The underside of the piano here, which has been, this is the original wood refinished, and this is brand new soundboard and ribs. <laughs> they also installed new tensioners here, so that right here and here, this is all new. This was original. And redesigned the pedal trap work. Screws, regulating screws to David Hughes, 136th soundboard. We've got the pin block here. You can't even feel that, it's totally underneath the finish. Thank you.